Hey, problem solvers. Welcome to writing. This is the last week that we are going to be working on your women in government project, which means that we have two more writing periods, which means we have two more periods to work, which means our books need to be done by the end of Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday is the last day we have writing. We have writing today, Monday, and on Wednesday. So let's talk about what we need to do to make that happen. Some of you I know are done with your right, right, right stage, which is wonderful. And some of you may not feel like you're there yet, which is also okay. But in this specific case, we need to move on. There can be no more right, 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 right now, because if we, if you spend more time on that stage, you are not gonna finish your book by your deadline. And writers need to know how to work with a deadline. So we should be moving on to our revising and our editing. Let's talk more about what that looks like. First, let's go through and review the steps of the writing process, because I know we don't have the visual like we did in the classroom anymore. So let's go over it once again. I want to hear you loud and proud, just like I do when we're going over this in the classroom. So pretend that I can hear you and repeat after me. First things first, pick an idea. Second step, plan it out. Third step, right, right, right. Fourth step, you've got to revise. And fifth step, you've got to edit. Sixth step, the golden step. Send your book out into the world. I trust that you guys all did that with me, right? <laughs> that was really good. So we should all either be on the, rev the revising stage or on the editing stage. Let's take a look at the check for success pages for each step so that we know exactly what we need to do in the next two days. Okay, check for success. You've got to revise, make it better. Remember, revise and edit are two very different distinct steps. We're not looking for details quite yet. We are making it better. We're adding to it before we go in and change things. So remember, we had a big review of adjectives, but how we can use adjectives or describing words to really paint a picture for our reader. So I added details to my words. You should be adding details. You should be adding describing words. You should be um, really painting a picture so that your reader can imagine exactly what you're trying to say in their mind. I have four star illustrations on every page. Remember, I had, did an entire video about what a four star uh, picture looks like. Let's go over it really quick. A four star illustration has lots of color, many details, and not very much white space. So if you have a picture that looks like this, then you know you can add more color and more background. If you have a, a picture that looks like this, you know that even if you, know, you haven't taken a lot of art classes, you can absolutely add more detail. I just want you to try. I know you are all artists and I know that you are capable of force. If I'm capable of doing a four star illustration, you are capable of doing a four star illustration. So please do not give me illustrations that have no color. Please try to add lots of detail and lots of color and a background. That'll give you a four star illustration. Then the last thing on our checklist is ask a friend how I could improve the book. This is what you should be working on today. If you think that you've added enough details to your words, a really good choice you could make today is to go back to your illustrations and add to those 
and make them four star illustrations, okay? Now, what if you're done with revising? Then what? Let's take a look at the editing checklist. Okay, moving into editing, fix all the things. Remember, I don't want you to worry about this until you are 100% done with the revising stage, one thing at a time. But if by chance you do finish up with the revising stage, this is what we're going to work on. My words are spelled correctly. We're doing this on Google Docs, so you have spell check. You should be able to independently go through and make sure that all your words are spelled correctly. But also Winona and I will help you with that. My sentences have capital letters, predicates, and subjects. We are not writing in fragments. We are writing in full sentences, yes? And what else does a full sentence need? A punctuation mark. My sentences have punctuation marks. My words make sense when I read my story out loud. That is an important step. I highly suggest that you all read your story, your not your stories, your books out loud to yourselves because sometimes when you do that, you can hear mistakes that you don't really see on the paper. And then I have a topic and concluding sentence for each paragraph. Now would be a good time to go back and make sure that each of your paragraphs have a topic sentence and a concluding sentence, okay? All right. With that, I think I'm gonna cut this video a little bit short so that we can have as much time as possible to work on finishing up our books. So I will see you on Zoom. Bye, thinkers.